TFNN Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 2 p.m. Eastern Time on Update on Monday. Shortened holiday trading week with Thanksgiving, of course, on Thursday. Markets closed for that half a day on Friday. Right now, record territory in the S&P and the NASDAQ. S&P right now up 17 points, trading 31.28. Got the NASDAQ up 101 points, trading at 86.21. Dow Jones just above 28,000, trading up 136 points at 28,012. Gold contract pulling back a bit off $7.50 at 14.56.10. And we've got the oil contract up eight pennies at 57.86. We'll start things off. Let's jump over to the charts. We'll start it off with the Dow. December futures contract currently trading 27,988. Actually peaked above 28,000 briefly, reaching a high of 28,003 at 10.30 a.m. this morning. There's your NASDAQ 100 chart currently trading 83.63. Quite an acceleration to higher prices right out of the gate at 9.30. We were trading at 83.11, more than 50 points above that level as the markets were already in positive territory to start things off at 9.30. There's your S&P 500. We've kind of just been hanging at the levels we've been at for the last three and a half hours. 10.30 a.m., we make a high of 31.30. We're currently trading at 31.28, that being an intraday high on the S&Ps. Crude oil with some volatility today, currently trading $57.87, made it up to $58 at about 11.15 a.m. this morning. There's your gold contract, backing off a bit. Gold, looking at the December contract, trading at $14.5592, and the euro-U.S. dollar trading at $110.07. In terms of what else you have happening in the market, a couple deals out there going on as you have Charles Schwab buying TD Ameritrade. $26 billion all-stock deal. Jumping over to those two charts as that news broke early Thursday. So you see the acceleration on Thursday. But this morning, on the finalization of that, TD Ameritrade up 6.3%. You have Schwab up 1.1%. You also have LVMH buying Tiffany's $16.2 billion. Today, you got Tiffany's up about 6.2%. And to finish it off, how about Uber getting banned in London? Uber shares were below $28 pre-market, now down just about 1.4% at 29.13. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up with a power trading hour live from 2 till 3. Tom O'Brien live at 3 o'clock. We'll be right back.